There's Lieutenant Paul Vance uh, giving the photographers what we call a white balance so they can make sure their cameras are properly adjusted. And we should begin very shortly. Again, a Willimantic police officer was shot and wounded in the arm earlier today. A whole neighborhood was under siege as police were looking for an armed gunman. The gunman is in custody. We have some uh, video that our eyewitness news photographer was actually able to capture. While police were looking for him, and there he is. You can see him walking through the woods. He is in custody. The uh, uh, facts and circumstances, as we know them, to so what occurred today here at Willimantic, uh, the chief will address you briefly, and we'll take a few questions uh, from understanding that this still is a very active and ongoing investigation. And about 11.15 today, Willimantic Police Department was dispatched to a residence at 31 Tunxis Lane in Willimantic. The call, call requested that the officer conduct a well-being check an individual who lives at that residence. Upon approaching and entering the home, that officer was ambushed and was shot by a male subject, and then that male subject fled the scene on foot. The wounded officer called for assistance. An additional Willimantic officers, both on duty, off duty, and plain clothes officers all responded uh, to that area. The wounded officer was transported to Wyndham Hospital emergency room where he was admitted suffering from a non late threatening gunshot wound. The shooter fled the scene on foot. The Atlantic Police Department called for assistance from state and local police and surrounding jurisdictions. All law enforcement responded to the request and searched for the subject who was fleeing on foot. The subject fled from the original point of shooting into the surrounding neighborhood and then into an adjacent wooded area. Old Manic police officers gave chase 